Good morning, friends. This is Tanya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing five wacky things. This is a collaboration hosted by Kelly Asante, and we are going to be having some fun with jelly prints today. Um, I was sent, uh, my partner was Janet Craft, and I'm going to put her information down in the description box. You can check her out. Um, I sent her five wacky things. She sent me five wacky things. We have to figure out how to create with them. And the first thing I thought of when I saw her package was my jelly, my jelly plate. She sent me a scrubby, a shower scrubby with an interesting texture, of course. She sent me a plastic fork with some glitter, <laughs> some bubble wrap. She sent me a toothbrush, which I could probably use this morning. And maybe not. And then um, some icing comb set. And I am excited to try these on my jelly plate. This is the first thing I thought of um, that or some kind of painting. And so that's what we're going to do today. Um, let me take these things out. But look at all these interesting textures and, and um, fun things. And let's see if we can get this. Drinking my coffee still this morning so having fun now I could use even the handle of this I could use the the brushes of this it'll be interesting to see what comes up so let's see what we got let's move these out of the way and add some paint I want to use some bright colors today in in a celebration of Easter and spring we've got beautiful weather here in Alabama this morning and I am excited to get out in it um, actually, I have to go to work today, so it's not like I'm really going to be out in it. But my day is just starting. Having my coffee, my beautiful, wonderful, yummy coffee. And um, playing with paint this morning. That's a great way to start the day. And then I will actually get to dressed, because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. And then i got to head on out to work yet today. Now, these are the paints that I got at Hobby Lobby the other day on sale for $1.49 each. If you have not checked your dollar, uh, Hobby Lobby, I did. Did I say Dollar Tree? I meant Hobby Lobby. Um, they were on sale for $1.49, usual $5.99. They looked like they were all clearanced out. So um, go check that out if you haven't had a chance because that is a steal. And I was excited to get my hands on them. All kinds of colors that I could find. All, I think I got one of every color I could find, actually. Um, whether it was pastel or darker colors, it didn't matter to me. I thought, you know, a great paint deal is a great paint deal, no matter what color. I kind of thinking a rainbow thing here, guys. So let's do this and spread that out. Get a little yellow down there. We can kind of blend those anyway. my wear off. So I figured why not have a little fun with paint and paper today. I need some more papers and um, I need some color in my life. And I thought why not do this before I go to work. I'll be in a better mood all day I promise. <laughs> Just take the time and add something happy. Why not? Look at that. Look how the colors are just kind of blending. And I know I have some grunge under there. I'm good with that. I love me a little bit of grunge at least. So there's that. Look at my paper when I'm rolling off. I love it. It's going to be fun to cut and use for other things. And let's get some rainbow going on. Let's grab a piece of paper. Oh, I didn't use my fun things yet. Okay, well... Here I'm doing my own thing. Okay, I'm not gonna use those yet <laughs> because I want a print of this. I want a print of this before I do anything. And then I'll go back and add some paint and put it on there, but I wanted a print of this one. Let's see how this looks. <clears throat> we'll get some of the grunge off with it too, so that'll be good. Yes, look at that. That's going to be fun right there. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I'm going to set that one aside to dry. Let's put some paint back on there. <laughs> I'm not playing by the rules, am I? <laughs> I'm just doing my own thing. Whatever. Okay, let's try this again. 
actually, well, no, let's, let's, let's try to get that back. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not playing by the rules. What can I say? I'm a rule breaker. Not really. Not really. Oops. That's okay. We'll go ahead and clean off the brayer really quick just to make sure. And there's nothing on there. So let's do this. Get that yellow nice and bright. We'll get into the orange. Get into the pink. Oops, I put way too much pink, but that's okay. Let's get that purple up in there. And I forgot to unmix my colors, but that's all right. That is all right. So what do you think I should use first? Let's try. I'm dying to try these and see what these will do. That's pretty cool, huh? And then let's try, I have an idea for this. That doesn't show really, does it? I was thinking I could kind of make like a little flower with it, but that doesn't really show. But I wonder if I took this color and added it and made a little flower. And it should be making a little bit of a design up there when I go back, maybe. So there's that, let's try that. And see if that makes anything. I know the swirly will. Should I dab my, my scrunchy thing on there too? Or my bubbles, let's put some bubbles on. I think I just kinda wanna go this with my bubbles. Ooh, that's cool. Think about that. That's kind of neat, huh? I just wanna keep going. <laughs> all right, let's use them all at once. Let's put this scrunchie on there a little bit. Do a little boop. Boop. Does that do anything? We'll see. We shall see. Spread it nice and good. And we'll see what this one pulls. I should have got over here in the corner, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, that's super cool. That's gonna be fun. Look at the flower, looks kind of like a starfish. It'd be fun in like ocean colors and make like a little starfish. And like in the sand. Isn't that neat? I like it, I like it, I like it. Now I had some strips of white paper here that I cut from something else. I think I'm gonna try to pick up some of these like stray things with some of these things. Hopefully you guys can see that to not paint down. So I can have some strips of paper too. I mean, why not? Let's use them. It doesn't hurt anything. I like how I've got still some of the stripes in there from the comb. There we go. It's kind of cool. All right, not wasted at all. Okay, let's get some blues in here since I'm thinking ocean and starfish. Let's get some blues. I'm okay with the other colors being on there. I did put a little much there. Didn't mean to. Put this one up there on top. Since I've been in beach and ocean, let's do it this way. Let's put a little brown down here. And I forgot to take the lid off, or the cap off this one. Just a 
stuck in here. I tried to open them all, but I forgot. I didn't open this one because I wasn't going to use it, but now I am. Changed my mind. Oh, I forgot about the fork. We got to use the fork, too. We can use the fork. Put a little brown down here. That's probably more than we need. A little sip of coffee will help. With my decision making, um, I kind of want to put a little bit of this here. Come on. It's just, oop. Oh, that is a little bit. And then, yeah, okay, so we're going to leave it at that for now. My brayer is full of these other crazy colors, which is fine because we're going to do something else anyway. And we're just going to scroll this way. And then I've got a lot of paint over there, so let's do it back. And I like it that it's kind of swirling together because that's what beaches do, right? All right. And then we're going to take some of that brown. We're making sure that brown is off of there. You know what? I think no matter how big a crafter's desk is, we need like twice the size. Who's with me on that? No matter how much space I give myself, I feel like I need two times the amount. I just, it's never enough. Okay. Let's kind of go this way. Look at that. Look at that yumminess. Look at that. What do you think? Does that have like a vibe, an ocean vibe? I kind of feel like it does. I feel like I need to go. I don't need to go to work today. Let's go to the ocean. Okay, um, now let me use this bubble wrap up in here. I think I'm gonna use the bubble wrap actually kind of where the sky would be. I don't know why, no reason. Perhaps I should use that where the water would be, but I'm liking it. Okay, now I want to use, I got to use the fork because I have not used the fork. What should we do with the fork? Should we do that? Oh, I should have done that in the water. That's for the waves, right? And then we've got to use this one. We'll just do this through the sand. All right. And then we got to do the fluffy. Did we use everything? What did I miss? I missed the toothbrush. All right, Mr. Toothbrush, come in here. I'm going to use it this way instead. I think I want to do like that. How's that? And we can kind of mush, mush, mush. In here, I don't know what that is. Maybe footsteps through the sand. All right, here we go. Let's put some paper on that one. And see what we get. Here's our ocean. Our ocean view. Because Tanya's missing the ocean today. You know how easy it would be to just stay home today and do what I wanted to do? It would be so easy, but no. I'm going to be responsible today. i got to be an adult. It's all good. It's Friday. i got to stay home. What are you doing? I have to work tomorrow, so I keep thinking, it would be nice to just call out today and go to work tomorrow. But I am needed, so I will go. Oh, this is really cool. You know when those little footsteps with the toothbrush actually showed? Look at that. You can see them. I'm calling them footsteps or not, but look how cool that is. Look at that. It got some of the grunge up from my pad even. That's neat. It's got some of the yellow in from the other prints and the pinks. That's really sharp. I love that. Cool. I love playing with this jelly plate, you guys. It's so much fun. And these wacky things are not so wacky. They are fun. They are great tools. So thank you, Janet, for sending me some new tools for my jelly plate. Let's get some strips out of this. Maybe I'll make um, 
rosettes or something with them. They're kind of cool. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Look how it's got the pink in there. Remember, I didn't put any pink in this press. I might put that in the one before. So it's picking up all the stuff. All the stuff. I love it. Let's do one right here to pick up some of that mess. I say mess and I need awesomeness. Let's pick up some of that paint, extra paint. And there's that. We got some of that grunge off. Let's see if we can get some of this grunge off right here. Because I see, oops, that's okay. Some extra. And maybe here. Pull some of that. Maybe here, some of that. Just kind of press it around and pick up some of those little bits. There we go. Look at that. Even that's neat. All I'm doing is cleaning. How fun is that? Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I could do this all day. You guys, this is so much fun. Hmm. Now, because I have all the paint, the blues and purples on here, I'm going to add some more blues and purples. Or blues and pink, I think. Or purples and pink. I don't know what I'm saying, but I know what I'm thinking. So hang out with me a while. Hopefully my lack of words won't rub off on you. And let's get these out here. Lack of words. I've never really been at a lack of words, have I? Let's put some of this darker in the middle. I'm loving this dark color. Actually, do I want the dark color in there? I don't want it to overpower. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit. Just a little bit. And we will put some blue-ish up here, yeah. I'm trying to go lighter than the grunge that's on there so that it will show. Because remember, the paint that's up on top is going to be in the back when we flip our paper over. So the paint that's in the front is what's, or on the, that's actually stuck to the gel plate is what's going to show the most. So you kind of, if you're playing with your colors, you kind of want to keep that in mind. Not that this is a tutorial, but because it's not, I, you guys, I'm not a pro with this by any means, but I will definitely share what I learn. And I am still learning a lot. All right, let's move. I'm going to use this brayer paper. Sometimes the papers that you roll your brayer off on are the best ones yet. Look, I just wiped that off on there. Look at that. What color? Isn't that fun? These will be good for, you know, pages and journals. They'll be great for backgrounds. Um, I can use them on the gel plate again and add more textures and colors and patterns. and um, So I can continue to add to them. Give them depth. to be worked a little better. Get some of that in there. Oh yes. Now my colors are really blending and that's good. Okay, let's put another page on there. Should I do some design? Should we do some fun wackiness? Let me use this one again. I'm trying to use clean sides of this one. But that's not working. I like how it transfers the colors from one section to another section too, so it's not all the same. I kind of, I like the subtlety of it. All right, and then, I don't think I want to do a whole lot to this one. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I really like the fork though. Let's go this way. Oh, I shook. No particular pattern. Let's do it. Let's 
see what comes up on here. Trying not to get paint all over my hands, but it's a little late for that. Oh yeah, pulled up some of the yellow and the brown, all the colors. That's neat, look at that. So those are the colors that were on, stuck to the gel plate and it pulled it up with the others and it left a clean spot. Very nice, very, very nice. And I think I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna do something else over here. I'm gonna go crazy. Let's put some color, 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 color on there. Boop. And I'm gonna put some of this purple here some of this blue and when my sister and I were little we or young probably teenagers we would call it blue I don't know why we were goofy and this one Since I still have, oh, that kind of tore the paper up a little bit. I said it. Too much going on, I guess. Let's see here. That one aside. You guys hear cash going off in the, in the background again? Crazy cat. Crazy cat. Just better. She is voicing her opinion. Again. Ooh, I kind of want to go around that yellow. I think that's going to muddy it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this paint off of here. Some of that off. Oops. Too much purple. And then we'll go this way. Ah, let's start. Just do that. don't want to muddy it all right I think I'm gonna leave it just like that I'm scared to do much more because if I mix that purple and the yellow or the purple and the orange it's going to turn to mud and it's gonna be a brownish funky color I probably don't really want so let's do this oh I forgot to use my tools that's okay I was so excited about the colors <laughs> so excited about the colors I didn't even get my stencils out today, you guys. I just wanted to get to it. There we go. Ooh, that's yummy. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. Look at the colors. It looks like a sunset. Isn't that beautiful? What fun is that? Now I need to not be so heavy handed with my brayer because I'm leaving a white streaks through there. I think that's from the edges of the brayer. But that was a beautiful rainbow. I should try that again.